Oh, YouTube, this Skip coming to you live. Strawberry Real Six Aquatic Kennels. Looks like Smoke and Miss Pearl are about to spawn again. I'm making this video to show my Mighty Squad with just a few of my Mighty Squad members. I have a better light on this aquarium now. You'll notice in previous videos, I had like a half and half blue white light and the reflection off a smoke body posed problems for the camera as far as lighting was concerned. Couldn't really get a good look at him as far as his coloration is concerned because of the reflection. Look at Miss Pearl's hump. Huge. The smoke hump is no uh, shortcake either. You got like a sludge hammer hump. Squad. And while I'm making this video, I'll give a couple of fish facts about the mitre species in general. The mitre species is the most diverse cichlid species in Central America. And you can pretty much find them anywhere in any waterways in Central America, even in volcano lake, crater lakes. There are different types of mitre species inhabiting those lakes. The Miss Pearl showing off. Let's check out Solo. It's my young Bob Mighty Solo. Off of none other than Big Casanova. We'll take a look at him a little in a minute. And this is my Saggy. Well, I'm kind of wondering about this Saggy. He's not looking like 100% Saggy to me. He looks like he may have some Midas, throwback Midas in his DNA. I'm not sure, but it's kind of looking that way to me as far as what I can see by the naked eye. There's another little female Saggy in that, that artificial tree stump. Now let's take a look at Big Casanova. Casanova, to your right, and Miss Lucy, and to your left is their son, Rhino. And as you all know, Casanova Knuckle Hump never, ever goes down. Since it went up a few years ago, it never came down at all, period. It's always huge. And to be honest with you, so is Miss Lucy's. So they have good genetics. One Rhino hump goes up and down. But eventually one day, he'll be just like his dad. And his hump will never come down either. Welcome to, Welcome to the DMV, people. Now right here is my other Midas. Bob Midas. Hobo. This big hobo. He's 
He never swim side to side, he just want to face you, so I can't never get a good good shot of him. His hump is way down too. It goes up and down. But he's a nice specimen. He's not off my bloodline, I got him from Nico. To add some diversity to my Midas strain. And here's my male Chancho, I think. He does have a little bit of black in his dose of him, but not a whole lot. Never laid eggs. Like my female Chancho has laid at least four times already. He's acting a little funny this morning. These are all mighty species. I can't let the cat out the bag just yet. Or what type of mites they are. But I will soon. It's my female Chancho. She's acting a little flaky this morning. I don't know why. She usually be out hitting the glass and everything. But sometimes they just not in the mood. secret about Big Ego as well. So once again, I'll let the cat out the bag a little later. He's definitely an antelope. Midas type. But what kind of Midas he is? <laughs> You know, ladies. 